Well, guys, it's the morning before the West Virginia turkey season, day four. Uh, we're getting ready to head out and try to locate some birds today. Uh, this morning, it's before, it hasn't started cracking daylight yet, but we're going to head out and, and hopes to locate some birds this morning. I'm sure we'll get some. We found some yesterday, and uh, I don't know. Should be able to find some more, hopefully. We got a bunch of private land to hunt. We got a permission on 180 some acres. So it's a good chunk of land, uh, we'll most of it filled, but we got some hardwoods as well that we can make work. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can locate some birds this morning. All right, boys, we're out here. Got the call. Got an owl locator. Hoop call. Don't work very good. Had like one turkey gobble at it all season. But we're going to walk back in here. We got permission to hunt all this beautiful ground. Uh, I don't know how good it's going to be for deer hunting. Definitely should be some turkey hunt. Good turkey hunt. See if we can locate some birds. In case you struck some here last evening. There's a cemetery back here. It's kind of creepy. Ew, spooky. <laughs> oh, guys, there's birds all the way out this hill. This whole top. Filled with turkey. I mean, there's like six of them. There's all kinds of birds up there. Definitely where I'll be going. I'm gonna tuck myself somewhere in them hardwoods right there. Can hunt all that. Uh, I'm gonna tuck myself somewhere in there. I'm gonna have to. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe head in midday, maybe set up. We'll see. I probably gonna have to go in without a blind. Just decoys. You know done but them birds are slamming over there this morning man there's a bunch of them too if i get my dad to walk that far it's not that far really we walked a lot farther yesterday <laughs> Damn. Turkey up in the field. It's a hen my dad was calling against. No gobblers on this side of the ridge. Which is strange. A few gobblers on the other side. We got a, got a 700 yard hike to get to them. Don't know what the terrain looks like. Guess we'll find out in the morning. Hens, ain't they? I don't see no bears on them. Roll on the window. Some turkey down there. Beautiful. Large first turkey. Got it done. Beautiful bird. Alrighty guys, first day of West Virginia turkey season. Let's get it. I'm excited. Uh we we just went in yesterday around 4 o'clock and set up a blind in a spot where we uh, located some birds yesterday morning. We, we got a very good setup this morning. Very good. Definitely should have a b birds gobbling all around us. It's just we're getting in there real freaking tight to them. Like within 100 yards of the roost. We might be even walking underneath of some gobblers to get to them. But there's a lot of gobblers on this uh one little stretch of ridge that goes down in between two valleys and man they're loaded on that and it's just a very gradual slope downhill and it's just perfect laid out for them and we're set up right almost on the top of it so all the birds should make their way up towards us is the plan there's a lot of scratching in there we went in yesterday and scouted it out set up the blind and there's a bunch of scratching so stay tuned guys turkey season is here let's get it hey guys heading out got black on a little bit of march <laughs> uh because i'm i'm gonna be hunting a blind today but i got camo underneath in case we gotta make a move and some camo my new my outdoor pants but we're gonna head out i'm gonna head to my dad's and meet up with him casey's gonna be hunting a different piece of private land today i don't know if i'm gonna make it into a separate video or make my own video and his own hunt video we'll see about that but stay tuned opening day of west virginia let's get it
right guys we're heading over to the farm right now uh man I'm, it's a nice morning uh skies are very clear so it's going should be bright in the woods which isn't too good on us because we're going to be sneaking in very tight to the roost but there should be a bunch of birds gobbling this morning uh, feeling hopeful stay tuned Oh guys, it's starting to crack daylight. Hopefully we can get a bird down today. All right guys, we're set up. Caught in the blind today. We're tucked in real close to the roost within 150 yards. Uh, there's some other hunters in here this morning. We barely beat them in here. I think they was planning on coming back here. Good thing we left when we did, but hopefully we can get a bird down today. Guys, we got a turkey gobbler straight behind us to the right, and there's one down below us and to the right, to the left. Both of them were off to our left. And I thought there'd be one right on top of us, but no. Probably a good 200 yards away. We're on this one knob, and I think they're on the other. Show the example on one X. Hopefully we can bring one of them in. I'm sure if we stay here long enough, we could. They're not that far. Got the decoy set out there. The strutter and two hens. <laughs> Heard a few gunshots this morning. Still got one bird gobbling off to our left. I don't know what happened to all the turkeys that was here in the morning yesterday. Seem to be nowhere to be found. Hopefully this one can break away from the hens. He's probably about 300 yards away. Come in. He's coming in, guys. Guys, we had a turkey gobbling right below us. It stopped gobbling. It was probably only 60, 70 yards just out of sight. We had some hens come in right, pretty much right to the decoys. And he shut up. The hens went down to him. Quiet. 
think he's still on our on our ridge here, so. Get it on video. Yeah, he was. It was anyone there? Got him. I don't know why he jumped the gun though. I thought he, he looked like he's getting ready to run. He's scared. Good shot. Yeah. <sighs> Man, that was fucking intense, dude. Oh, did you hear him drumming behind us?
Alrighty guys, my 2023 West Virginia Tom. Man, it's kind of hard for this one. He came in this morning gobbling below us and he circled clean around us. Worked, went all the way down, down that ravine, circled up, came right behind our blind. Like we could hear him behind our blind drum, drumming. Man, it had, this one got me pumped. No, oh. shook up. I, I I think I got some pretty good video of it. I got the GoPro camera in the tent. So, man, he hammered. I put a heck of a shot on him. Uh, I thought he was getting ready to run because of the decoys. He looked a little spookish, but probably could have let him go, go and get some better footage. But we got it done. Opening day, West Virginia, 2023. Uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of birds. We came in here yesterday, located them, and we came in uh, about four o'clock yesterday evening and uh, set up the blind, uh, did a little bit of scouting, looked around the area, and this bird was roosted. I think he's either roosted on off the side of this knob, on this left side here, or uh, on the other knob, uh, on the other side of the ravine. But, 2023 West Virginia Tom, not a very big bird compared to the one I shot last year, but in uh, PA. But I'll take them. We'll get some really good pictures and get them hauled out. Well, guys, this is what he's seen whenever I was in the blind. Tucked in there in that corner. I don't know. I'm guessing a 25 pounder, 23. I don't know. <laughs> no, I think my one I got mounted was 23. So, 20. 20 or 21 pounder. A little bit smaller than that turkey. Got some pretty, 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 pretty feathers. You can get a better turkey hunt than that, boys. West Virginia opening day. One more tag left to fill. Dad has two. He's after a big bird, though. Big bird. We've got a bird hammering right behind us, like probably 300 yards. We're going to wait her out. Try to get my dad a bird. Try to double up. We got a couple hours until sh uh, shooting hours is done. I believe in West Virginia it's one o'clock. I'm gonna have to check that real quick to be sure. The PA is 12, but I think West Virginia is one. This bird's hammering. I think he might be on his way. Guys, that bird ran straight down. See a blind right here. That bird ran straight down through there. And I think he went right on the other side of that brush right there. 10 yards. I could blast him right there, but let him wrap around. Come to the decoys. It was a bird goblin up over the hill there, but. We're gonna walk walk this trail a little bit, see if we can strike anything up, and then we're gonna head back home, get this turkey breast cut out, and get it cooking.
guys. Finally got him packed out of here. And boy, that was a hike. Carried him and a blind about 750 yards. Pretty heavy. But it's in my bag. But, uh, yep, we got her done, son. West Virginia opening day. Got a lot more turkey hunting to come. Got Pennsylvania to hunt, and I got another bird in West Virginia to fill a tag on, hopefully. I don't know. Until then, guys, stay tuned. I'll see you guys whenever we get back home, get some measurements on them. Got it done. Say moo. Moo. Guys, get the measurement. Get my turkey. 47 and a half. 40. And a nine and a half inch beard, nine and three eighth inch beard. Not too big a beard. Got a big old head on him though. I'll take it. All right, guys, I'm going to head home. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this one, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Lots of turkey hunting content to come. Uh, it's just one hunt. We're going to be filming every hunt. I'm going to try to post every hunt, even if we don't kill one. But we got done here on opening day. West Virginia, hardwoods, gobbler. Had some fun. Uh, see if we get out here again soon. Uh, my wife's getting ready to get induced Tuesday. So this will probably be it for me for... The week and maybe even for the west virginia season altogether i don't know we'll see stay tuned looks good garlic turkey pasta garlic parmesan 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 they gave out the parmesan looks good it smells good can't wait to try it let you guys i'll let you guys know how it tastes guys this is freaking delicious this is the best turkey recipe I have ever tried. And I'm gonna leave a link, or I'll put it in the description, uh, recipe. It's very good. I'm trying to get Brian and try it. I think he's getting ready to try it. But it's very good. Turkey's real tender. Very good. Tastes like chicken. <laughs>